Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So as you know, I was like out for almost a month on a vacation, and in this period, I got multiple comments over the channel uh, that uh, we are looking video on this topic, that topic. Yeah. Okay. So I replied, uh, but uh, couldn't able to create the videos. Okay. So one of the comment was that they wanted to have video on remote tracing. So today we are going to see how we use remote tracing in Pega. Okay. So what all options do we have to to trace the users? Okay. So when do we really need this kind of a features remote tracing? Okay. So what happens is that we usually when we are in a development phase. Okay. We obviously log in with our dev portal like at dev studio. Okay. And if we have any issue, then we can debug through the tracer. Okay. So we can trace the same session. But what happens sometimes that with the developers when you work in a real time projects right because of the security issue and other issue you cannot uh, create a cases with your id to test the real time scenario because let's say if you're testing with your id your id may not exist in the real system okay uh, you you will have some test ids so in that kind of a scenario we have to do remote tracing okay so this is i'm talking in the non prod like uh, when you are in development phase but obviously when you are in a, a productions then 99% 99.9% time okay you will not get options to uh, do a tracing from the dev portal like uh, like the same user is creating the request okay so in productions obviously we have to always go for remote tracing so this is one of the useful uh, feature in uh, when we are are going to debug any issue so let's uh, see that okay how we can do the remote tracing so we'll directly jump to pega okay so i have already logged in with the admin portal okay and i have another user here okay who has that user access okay admin one so i'll try i'll, I'll log in with that user and i'll show you that how we can trace it okay but before that i, I think we don't have any video on tracer also or, or i think i have already created uh, in debugging there was a debugging video where i have talked about the tracer okay but on a high level uh, we can do multiple settings also in the tracer okay so whenever you're going for because whenever you're going for remote tracing please make sure that your setting is correct okay because if you're doing the tracing in non prod okay or if you're doing from the dev portal you can trace again but when you are in a production users will not give you multiple opportunity to trace okay or you'll not get multiple cases to trace in productions because we have a limited options so always when you're going for remote tracing okay especially in productions make sure to validate all your settings okay so in settings you we have we have an options that what all actions we want to trace okay so sometimes let's say this is one of the important one that local variable is by default unchecked okay so you may consider to check this one okay and also uh, you can see that how many rule set like what all rule set you want okay obviously that applications rule set will be by default checked okay uh, but sometimes uh, because of the too much data will come okay from the pega reporting or the P pega ui design you may need to uh, think okay if you can uncheck that one and the last but not the least is that the trace event okay so you should always have the maximum limit by default i think pega has that 5000 or 500 i think 5000 so in 5000 line is not enough when you're tracing in production so please make sure to validate your settings okay so this is one of the important things the next things for remote tracing especially okay so let me first log in with the user okay remote user so I'll just use a cognito and I log in with admin one. Admin one and rules. Okay, so uh, just I logged in. So whenever we'll take any actions, okay. So when you're doing a tracing, okay, we need to trace on exact actions. Let's say if I'm opening a case, okay, and on click of that one. Okay, either from opening from there or like clicking on advance, I want to trace. So let's see, I want to trace on this uh, go only. Okay, so when you are in production, okay, like uh, what you should do is first you make sure that you have catch that requester successfully. That okay, the, the requester which you want to trace because that is very much important. Okay, so let's see here. So the first things we have enabled the tracer, and then second thing is that we'll go to remote tracing and we'll try to find out our user. Okay. So let's see that. So this is the user you can see that admin one. Okay, because we have to go with the name. Okay, uh, here we'll not get the user ID. Okay, so we'll get the name of that user. So if you see here, I have logged in with the admin one. Okay, so we have to always look for that admin one, the name. 
what happens obviously in production you will not find that okay one user is logged in uh, one user have the multiple sessions but in non prod you can have okay that uh, uh, like other person is also testing and they might have also logged in with the same user so in that kind of a scenario you need to see that you have catch that right requester okay before tracing the actual things okay so let's say if if i want to trace on click on go uh, what i'll do i'll just click on search or do some actions through which i can make sure that yes i have catch the tracer so you can see that yes we have catch the tracer and now we can clean up and we can go again go back again on the actual actions and then click on trace so now we 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 make sure that whatever the settings required okay we have changes made the change in the settings now the next thing is that we have already cast that request now we can just simply go and enable uh, like click on the go to trace so here we'll click on go and we can trace that so you can see that okay the tracer is running okay so you can wait for the complete tracer to run like depending on your like what you are debugging but let's say if you are watching the tracer and you already got to know that whatever you are tracing you can see the error and, and other things so you can stop okay so but uh, here we are, we are not going to see that okay how to check the tracer but here we are mostly seeing that how to do a remote tracing or how to do a tracing so you can see that successfully we cast that requester and we did that tracing so this is the one way to do the remote tracing okay what happens sometimes that in, like either in productions or in non prod that you have a multiple node okay and if the user is logged in on a different node and you are logged in as a developer as a developer you are logged into a different node you you may not able to see that your requester in the remote tracing okay so this is especially for the junior developers who thinks that oh why i'm not getting the request even when i was junior i was confused at why i'm not getting okay and the reason is that the your node and that node is different okay because what happens most of the times okay you'll use the load balancer url okay so your dev has a, a load balancer url or your qa has a load balancer url so load balance when you use load load balancer url you don't know that on which node you are logged in okay so for that you need to make sure that you and that the the person who you, you're going to trace that user you're going to trace are logged in on the same node okay but let's say that okay you are not able to do that okay so what is the other alternative so earlier we used to go to sma and click on each node okay and then find it out that on which node you have that one and from the sma you can trace okay so that was the one options now with the pega admin studio it's very easy you can simply go to admin studio and from there also you can trace it so you can simply navigate it to admin studio so again if if you have a multi node system then you need to make sure that the dev, dev and then the user which you are tracing should be both available on the same node otherwise you will not get the requester okay so that is one thing and if you are not doing from there maybe you can come here in the admin studio because in admin studio that i think node issue will not come you can see all the requester here so you can see that requester here an active one so from here you can simply trace that so let's say we have admin here active one let me see that okay so this is the browser and let me see why you're not seeing that let's see that okay so see here we have the admin okay in 1119 so last time we traced it from that dev portal now this time we're trying to trace from the admin studio okay but for this one you should have access to admin studio and what happens sometimes if you're a junior developer you may not have the access to this one okay so if you don't have access then obviously uh, if you're logging on the same node you can cast the, the requester and then you can cast the requester and trace it okay or if you are like uh, logging on the same node then also you'll be able to cast that but if you're not able to do that then you can ask access of admin student from admin studio you can do the trace so you can see that here we have multiple options okay so you can click on trace now if i go and do something okay it will trace again see so it's a tracing so what are options we have okay so the first option is from the dev studio you can do the tracing but the prerequisite is that both the users should be on the same node okay but if you're in a multi-node environment okay you need to make sure that uh, you are on the same node where the user is logged in okay so what is the options okay if you're in multi-node environment and you are not able to cast that requester so you can uh, get i mean most of the times in the dev environment or in the q environment we get the direct node url as well so you can log in on a direct node URL, okay, 
uh, with both the users okay the dev and then the other user also and in that way you'll be able to cast that not a problem okay and but before tracing as i said okay that um, in non pro in non pro it is okay but in in productions you need to make sure that all your setting is correct okay before you are going for like before user is taking that actions and you are going to trace okay so this is from the dev studio but what if like uh, you don't have the node url and you are not able to cast that then you can jump to admin studio and in admin studio you can go to all requester from the overview landing page and then here you can find out you can search your operator id and then from here in the right we have this icon three dots from there you can get an options of trace okay so in this way you can trace that so this is the tracing of a user session okay so if you see if i'll just show you right so how the user session uh, like how we identified the first is that with the name and then also it starts with h so you can see that c it is start with h h means that the browser okay so you can learn that okay there like if you if you have a different type of requester uh, how it, it it denotes so you can see that b for batch and h for uh, browser and then a is also there okay i think app it is saying okay so you can you can learn that one or we can have a differentiation on that one now let's say if you want to trace the services okay what is the options for tracing the services okay so though it is like it's like similar to remote tracing so we'll see that one okay so to trace any services what you need to go you need to go to service file okay so let's say here we'll go to service rest okay and i'll show you and you can open anyone so let's say i'll just open that api and then cases create cases or anything okay so i'll just search cases and click on cases so here you'll get an options okay to do the tracing here you can see that we have an options of tracing okay so for now i am not hitting or let me hit the services okay so this is the cases i'll i'll show you so from i'll what i'll do i'll go to api pega api and from here i'll try to hit this cases api okay so i'll go to cases here uh, cases i'll just simply try it out okay so admin one admin one and rules or i'll just so admin one you can see that i have logged in with admin and i'm trying to log in here okay on this uh, like basically i'm trying to access the api using admin one so let's see if if, if we are able to trace that see i'm able to trace that so this is basically we are trying with the other user not with the dev portal uh, uh, dev user so dev user uh, operator id is admin not the admin one but when i'm trying to access that api i use the admin one and in this way also we can trace the service okay so this is the way to trace the service uh, this is also a remote tracing like a remote tracing but the uh, but the options to do this tracing is you need to come to the services so you need to find out the exact service name okay which service uh, you are going to call okay and then in the actions we have the trace options and from there you can do that so that's it on the remote tracing okay if you have any questions on this one please let me know okay uh, this was just a quick sessions on on this one as people were asking on the channel okay uh so that's it for today let me know what next uh, what next video you want okay so now if uh, the moment i'll get a time i'll i'll create the next one so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye